Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it's Thursday, July 8th already, which just blows my mind. I cannot believe how fast this summer is whipping by. This was week one of what I have separated into six weeks worth of routes for my day job. And week one last time I didn't go to because of the gas shortage. So I, I've never been up there before, at least for this job and I got to do it this week. So I did drive up there, and as you will see, I did film a lot of the time that I was on the road. The problem is, it was boring. There really wasn't anything to show you. I did do the alternate route, so rather than going on the major highways like 64 and 95 all the way up to where I needed to go, I'm with the back way, which is basically 17, which I go through the Chesapeake Bay Tunnel Bridge, which you're seeing in the time lapse, all the way up through that opposite side of Maryland, all the way up to New Jersey. And the first day I had, you know, all my meetings in the afternoon. I left at eight in the morning and basically had my first meeting at one. So I drove from eight until one to get up there, had my meeting, at one and then another one at two, another one at 2.30 and another one at 4.30. So the day was packed. And then after the 4.30, then I had not a long drive, like maybe 45 minutes to an hour to get to my hotel where I was gonna stay for the next day. And then I had two meetings early in the morning and then I drove back. Fortunately, I mean, I, I kind of out of the blue, it rained on the first day after my last meeting and I was driving to the hotel because it was literally sunny out and everything, and then all of a sudden I saw a couple of sprinkles, and I was like, "Did I? what did I drive under? Holy crap, it's starting to rain. And then it just let loose. Now the hotel was an entirely new place. Obviously everything was new because I've never been up there before. And I got there and I drove past it because I didn't realize it was a hotel, but it was a residence inn. So I guess those are almost like little townhouses, little apartments, which was weird. And uh, you know, I went in, I booked, and she's like, okay, you're gonna go out here, you're gonna drive around here, you're gonna come up to this building, and, and you know, we upgraded your room for you, so so you're in a better room, and I'm like, okay. I walked up to the second floor, walked in, and was like, holy crap, it was like an apartment. Hell, it was bigger than, than a lot of apartments that I've lived in in my life. It was two floors, it had a, like a living room, a kitchen, a bedroom and a full bathroom downstairs and then you go upstairs it had another full bathroom and then like a loft bedroom and I was like wow this is crazy so the only reason I went upstairs was just so I could film it for you and show you how big this place was something I'm not used to you know then I just spent the rest of my time downstairs sorry I couldn't hear what you said you just scared the shit out of me okay that was interesting then I get home and I was expecting a number of packages I did by the Sony 40 millimeter 2.5 lens. And I am, I had converted my A7C into a actual little, uh, a still camera rather than a video camera because I'm using the ZV-1s for filming. And I thought, you know, it might be fun instead of just using the, the A7R4 for birding, which is just almost completely always set up with the 200 to 600 now for me to go into the woods and, and, and do birding and wildlife, I thought, you know what, why don't I just convert the A7C, which is full frame, into an actual still camera. And, and you know, I mean, it's got that retro look to it and everything with the silver and all that stuff. And it's relatively small. I'll use it as a still camera and I'll start doing more street photography like I used to do, like I enjoyed doing. There's two things about this camera that I needed to change. One, all the full frame lenses that I have for it, with the exception of this 20 millimeter F1.8, are all huge. So, you know, the go-to lens, if I were gonna go out and do street photography, would be my 24 to 70, which is gigantic. And on this dinky ass little body, it would be, it would just be absolutely ridiculous, you know, carrying that around very obvious, intrusive, if you will, and just not a good street photography camera. But then I thought to myself, you know what? The 40 millimeter sounds like it'd be cool because it's right in between a 35 and a 50. Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna get that one. So now the second thing about this camera is the shitty viewfinder. There, there pretty much is no EVF. It's just, a, it's literally like a freaking nub. It, it, it's an afterthought. It almost looks like a 
normal viewfinder when you pull the eye cup off. Like that's how small and worthless it is. So I ended up buying this little, basically an actual eye cup and it, and it has this little piece that goes into the hot shoe and you just slide it forward and then it comes right up to the viewfinder. So now I can get it up to my eye and be shielded from the sun and actually have a viewfinder. Then of course I splurged. It's not on here now because I don't know how long it's gonna to take to make because they custom make them, but it is a black, what do they call it? Black and wine leather strap, really nice leather strap. And I got it custom stamped with devious on it. And I just ordered that last night because I was like, I need to get a, I need to get a strap, but I don't want a big ass strap for it because I'm trying to be, you know, indiscreet. Um, so I ended up ordering a strap. Who knows when it'll be here? I also got a new hat. So you've seen me in my in my old, uh, like almost newsboy type hat that that's got the plaid pattern, the, the, like the typical pattern for those things. But that hat is wool, and it's hot as balls and incredibly itchy, especially in the summertime. So I got a new one strictly for summer. So this is like a cotton hat and uh, so that was here too. So that was my, my week. I have had other stuff that I have filmed throughout since the last video and there's just no point in showing you that either. I'm going to have to start trying to be more consistent and getting to videos on an almost daily basis because what's been happening is it's been building and then I just don't even want to use it anymore. But that's all I got for you today. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down below in the comment section. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.